It was early morning on December 7, 1941. The Imperial Japanese Navy surprisingly attacked Pearl Harbor, a U.S. naval base located in Hawaii. News of the attack reached Wake Island's Army radio technician. Hickam Field has been attacked by Japs bombers. This is the real thing. In 1941, Wake Island was an important U.S. military outpost located at 2,298 miles west of Honolulu. Being on the other side of the international date line on the same day, December 8th, Commander on Wake Island, Winfield S. Cunningham, began preparations to respond to a possible Japanese attack. With help of 5-inch coastal artillery guns and just only 449 U.S. Marines on the island, they were harshly prepared for an incoming Japanese attack. An hour after receiving the message of the attack on Pearl Harbor, the 36 Japanese Mitsubishi G3M3 medium bombers from Marshall Island launched an attack on Wake Island in three V formations. Eight of the 12 F4, F3 Wildcats located on the ground were destroyed. Due to poor visibility, the Japanese planes did not suffer any damage from island defenders. Following days, the remaining four Wildcats shot down two Japanese bomber planes. Wake Island was bombed on an almost daily basis for the next two weeks by Japanese planes. Despite the lack of land defense and air support, Wake's defenders were battling Japanese bombers on a daily basis. On December 11, 1941, the Japanese Naval Invasion Force consisting of three light cruisers, six destroyers, and two transport ships, commanded by Rear Admiral Sadamichi Kajioka approaching toward Wake Island. Commander Cunningham allows the Japanese invading force to come closer to Wake Island. So, they come in the range of five-inch coastal artillery guns. Gives full surprise attack from the American side, Kajioka did not know this move. And without any attack, they came near the island. Marine gunners were patiently awaiting the invasion force. Invasion force appeared from approximately 4,000 yards away from the island. All 5-inch coastal artillery guns started open fire. Destroyer Hayate received two direct hits during the firing. It caused her magazine to explode, sinking in just two minutes. Kajioka's flagship Yubari also suffered heavy losses from Wake's heavy and accurate firing. Kazioka realized they were trapped in the move, so he decided to retreat his invasion force. The Japanese force suffered heavy losses from the accurate firing of the Marine gunners. Four Wildcats planes dropped their bombs on the destroyer Kisaragi. The bombs were exploded on its stern near stored depth charges, causing a massive explosion on her, and she finally sank with the loss of all 157 crew members. This proved to be the first bitter defeat for the Japanese Navy. Cunningham and his fellow Marines fought well against the Japanese, despite a lack of defense. But soon, Wake Island was slipping into the hand of the Imperial Japan on December 23, 1941.